Hi to Chaco. Night Elf is his main race, of course. And he's going for a random hero. There's some wisps here. He's building an archer. Meanwhile, Blade builds some more buildings. Ziggurat, Tomb of Relics. He's also going for a hero, a random hero. It could be anyone. And here we also get a random hero. It could be anyone. Ancient of War is gonna eat a tree. He eats a tree. Make sure the lightning shield casts here on the archer. The ghoul here going for the archer. Doesn't care about the lightning shield. He just wants the archer dead. Nice job here by Blade. Trying to get that archer. And <laughs> what? What? Didn't what? Didn't he just play in Amazonia, got Night Elf and got the Priestess of the Moon against Happy? Didn't we just see this like two seconds ago? What is this? Is it rigged, guys? Feels rigged. Priest of the Moon gets a ring of protection. Croatia should be pretty warm, I think. Okay, I'll check it in a moment or after the game. A Tome of IQ picked up here by Kara Star Dragon. And we have a Demon Hunter here for Blade. Okay. Not <laughs> the thing is, Demon Hunter is one of the strongest heroes in the game, one of the most versatile heroes in the game. But against the Priestess of the Moon, he's not as powerful. She doesn't need her mana as much as most other heroes. She just mostly relies on this aura, true shot aura. Second Ancient of War going down, and of course Hunter's Hall is going down. He's going mass Hunters again. The Demon Hunter here killing this Renegade Wizard gets a ring of protection. He's protected now. It's not warm in Croatia. Oh. Spain is warm. I assume Spain is also expensive. I also only checked Lisbon. But uh, most of the Western European countries are just really expensive. Here's the Priestess of the Moon. She shows up. And she can't get the last hit. But the Demon Hunter does get a nice Cloak of Shadows. This Priestess of the Moon. Oh, the Ghoul goes down. Priestess of the Moon hunting this Ghoul. Can he, can he get another Ghoul? I think so. And this time uh, she does get the XP for the Ghoul. The Demon Hunter here hunting an Archer. The Archer tried to run for his life, her life. But she's dead. Skeleton was sent to the Goblin Laboratory. <laughs> These ghouls running away from the Priestess. I mean, I would be running away as well, but not because of her arrow, but because she, this huge tiger. For the moon. Slippers of Agility, of course, very good. Very good item. There's two Huntresses. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Shadow Stalker is stalking the shadow of Kara Star Dragon. But since she's a star, she doesn't have a shadow. Ironic, isn't it? Graveyard going up. And what's this? A Ziggurat. Tree of Life. Going up here for uh, Neutron. He's going for an expansion. For the moon. Oh, look at this. There's a birdie in the tree. Does he realize? Does he send a goal over? Hello, one goal, one right click, and you're done. He does kill the sheep. Like a true undead player. Just killing the sheep. What's he searching for? I think he's searching... <laughs> Neutron, but Neutron was just hiding. He's going for the creep camp. Oh, the Demon Hunter, can he cancel this Tree of Life? Think he can. Especially with the two skeletons to aid him. He dispels one skeleton. Doesn't even uh, hit the Demon Hunter, so only one skeleton. <laughs> Here comes Neutron, he's going to defend. Oh, nice second slippage of agility. And that will save his Tree of Life. Easy peasy. Tree of Life, hello. See if this priest, this hunters can block. No. Demon hunter gets away, walking through the water. What is this? A second random hero. It could be anyone. Oh, anyone? Could it be Trump? If he is your hero, it could be Trump. 
Priestess of the Moon now, level 3, level 2 aura means she does a lot more damage and everyone around her does a lot more damage because of the beautiful aura. 42 mana burn. Skeletons are going down fast. Do we see a huntresses? I mean, a fiends or anything? No, no. I'm not sure exactly what he's planning. He's finding. He's playing against mass huntress. Oh, not mass huntress. Huntress and archers. Oh, hello, demon hunter. What are you doing? Super greedy demon hunter. Wow. <laughs> Has to TP out here, blade. Has to. And there's Mr. Panda, Ginger Reed Wine. Sends three ghouls to her ass. Tree of life. It's a tree. Priestess of the moon. For the moon. This ghoul is absolutely going to die. But the instant of uh, life is, is going to be fine. He just eats some trees. Panda shows up. Gets surrounded, he's gonna die. Doesn't look very good for Blade, guys. I don't think he has a plan. <laughs> I think he, he's just hoping he gets the correct random heroes or something. He's just tacking. Oh, he's, he's going for abominations? I think he's going for abominations. Double slaughterhouse. Of course, a few statues to help. Team Hunter tries to kill an archer. Oh, he might get the one archer. Ooh, no, the archer drinks the moon juice. There's another archer here. She's so slow. Look at her doing the Baywatch. But well, the demon there is running for his life. He has full mana, so it doesn't matter because he doesn't have moon juice. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, full mana, so easy uh, easy heal. No, there's no moon, moon wells. The priestess of the moon, though. Three slippers of agility. Hello, that's so much agility. Hello, Mr. Funbags. Hello. So much moon uh, juice usage here by these units. 42 supply for Neutron and 32 here for Blade. He does have the orb. Not very good with these heroes, with these units. I don't even, even think this orb is worth getting at this point. Right, maybe uh, once he's at 50 supply, get that orb. I think the, getting more abominations is more important. Then getting this orb. I mean, it gives it to the demon hunter. That's much better than the panda. A player's forces are under attack. I don't know. Uh, what's your intention to go? What is your intention to go to Poland? Um, my intention was to do some IRL streams. But, you know, I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't want to do IRL streams. <laughs> the panda is almost level 2. These hunters are, are 2 and 0. And I'm also just looking for a place I want to live long term. So I wanted to check out Poland anyway. We have a bunch of abominations. He's building more. 44 supply against 50. This panda's almost level 2. He is level 2. More abominations being built here. 48 supply against 61. Here comes the attack. 61 supply army. Such a huge army, but it's all archers and huntresses. They do have two zero upgrades, but the abomination upgrade is insane. Disease cloud, guys. You get sick once, you're sick for 120 seconds. The expansion is up and mining, though, so uh, there's not a blade. Blade has a limited time before he falls behind too far. <laughs> His abomination got some attacks off, but the, the archers didn't even get sick. Pretty nice job by the archers. 
So blade at 48 supply. Is he going for a counter expansion? Is he going for... What is he going for? Maybe meat wagons? <laughs> at this point he could just go meat wagons. Wouldn't be bad. He has like four abominations, five abominations already, with uh, with some ghouls on top of that. Hey, there's alchemist. Alchemist for uh, neutron. Nice lightning shield on this alchemist, doing so much damage against the abominations. But he's pretty sick. Uh, these ghouls moving in or moving out. I'm not sure what they're doing actually. They're acid bombed, so they don't want to die. Uh, Alchemist, very low hit points. The Panda's level 2 still. Does he use a Breath of Fire or something? Abomination is just on attack move. Demon Hunter takes so much damage. He has a TP. He uses a TP. 32 hit points. Nice TP. Blade lost a few units. Let's look at the bodies real fast. We see Ghoul. We see two Huntresses. That's it for bodies. 65 supply here still for Neutron. A lot of money. Blade, 49 supply. Not a lot of money. Building statue. Building that meat wagon. Hello. Hello, meat wagon. Hello. <laughs> but so far, the last. These guys are kind of low on hit points, but that's why we have heal scrolls. Use one now. I feel like maybe should have waited a little bit. For all these disease effects to disappear. Since it only lasts for 90 seconds anyway. There's a one, two and one upgrades now on the archers and huntresses. And soon there will be two and two. He's, uh, he, he is stacking now. He's stacking to three of eternity already even. And uh, has double angels of lore up. Oh, we knew that already I think. Because we saw Dryas. <laughs> yeah, we saw Dryas. Chaco. <laughs> Wake up Chaco. Nice uh, dry block here on the Demon Hunter. Is the Demon Hunter just going to die? I think so, because no one can save him. The panda was all the way over here. And it's not like he has staff, because he's actually undead. GG. First game goes to Neutron. And in the blue, we have Blade. They both got undead this time. Blade got undead again. Neutron. First time we see Neutron with undead. First time in our life, he doesn't get any of the other races. He's getting undead. And let's see what hero he gets. Crypt. He's going for early graveyard. So he's going for fiends. And I like this actually a lot. Like most most of these games. These random race. Random. Wait. I forgot to fix my overlay. It's the finals. There. Uh, yeah. So most of these random race. Random hero um, games. Most of that players go for a ghoul build. But I feel like a fiend build is just way more solid, way more consistent. Fiends are just much better with uh, a lot of heroes than ghouls are. But, you know, players disagree with me. And a lot of players go for the ghoul builds. But it's nice to see Neutron just going for the fiend build. Oh, here comes the ghoul, though. The ghoul is going for an acolyte. The acolytes have been upgraded, though. Look at his armor. Look at his hit points. It's not dying that fast, is it? Look at this ghoul. It doesn't even do that much damage. It only does, uh, you know, a good amount of damage. Like 17 or so. But Acolyte survives. But the ghoul is not done yet. Look at this ghoul. Meanwhile, over here, Shadow Hunter for Blade. Shadow Hunter, guys. Shadow Hunter and ghouls, that is. Against. We don't know yet. Chaco come for Rakija. I have uh, I have this shit. Vodka. Polish vodka. We we borowa. We borowa. Okay, so what uh, what do we have? Tefnet, cut for me, please. Oh, that's how he gets whatever hero he, he wants. He just asks. If you just ask, you will get what you want, guys. Uh, did this guy kill a ghoul, by the way? No, right? Or did he? <laughs> I, I, I knew something was happening over here when I was reading chat. But Shadowhunter, okay. Shadowhunter against Shadowhunter. 
He has 93 XP. A player's forces are under attack. Shadowhunter and ghouls against Shadowhunter and fiends. I feel like with the fiends he's better though, right? You can hack the ghoul and then kill it. Or is it better with ghouls? Because then you can hack the fiend to kill it. And uh, a fiend is just so much more expensive than a ghoul. But the heal wave, I guess a shadow hunter is kind of like a death knight in that sense, with the heal wave. <laughs> Level 2 Shakti Lar. Mezzo Kree. Shakti Lar. Do we see Creepjack? How many fiends? Two fiends. We will get this Null Warden and then. There's, there's not enough ghouls here, really. There's just skeletons. There's one ghoul. Oh, no. He has two more ghouls. I think uh, he might be able to contest. How? No, way. There's four ghouls. Five ghouls. <laughs> I can count. Look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five ghouls is maybe a little bit uh, too much. Oh, no. This ghoul died. Blade. Hello. <laughs> Blade. <laughs> I don't think Blade is a very good off-race player. From what we've seen him so far, from the last two games. But he might surround Mezzo Kree. Oh, yeah. Nice surround. Hello. Do we see TP? He has to TP, else he's gonna lose Fiends. Yeah, he kills one ghoul. He gets level two. Can healing wave himself. There it is. There's four Fiends now. Uh, let's look at the tech here. Actually, the techs are at the same time. Are you serious? Look at this. I, I click a different building and you hardly see a difference over here. Are under How can one player with uh, that went fiends tech at the same time as the player that went ghouls? I don't know. I think Blade just forgot to tech or something. There goes a ghoul. Blade lost another ghoul. 28 supply for Blade. 28 supply here for Neutron. Nice to see you casting. Welcome back, Shocky Shocks. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a mirror. We're watching a true mirror, guys. Even with the same uh, heroes. Pretty rare to see. Slippers of Agility, pretty good. Uh, Skull of the Beast, pretty good. These ghouls. He might have to use it right now because he doesn't have a TP anymore. So if he fights here, he just has to win the game, uh, win, win the fight. Maybe the game as well. He used the Skull of the Beast immediately. One go already dead. This uh, fiend. Where's the micro? There's a heal wave, but the fiend. Uh, this fiend was micro way too late. Uh, so the fiend goes down. And there's a hex on this other fiend, but Forest of Shadow Priest dispels it. Super smart to get that Forest of Shadow Priest to dispel all the hexes. Slaughterhouse is going up. Is this ghoul? Is he going for the ghoul? He's going for the ghoul. He can hex another ghoul if he wants to. Oh, he hexes this ghoul. It's now crap. Even the skeleton does plus four damage with the Scroll of the Beast. The ghoul is dead. We have a level 3 Shadow Hunter against a level 2. 35 supply against 25. Only 25 supply here for Blade. And what is he doing? He's going to tag. He's tagging to Tree of Eternity again. Also known as Black Citadel. Well, uh, Neutron is not tagging. He's going for the uh, Slaughterhouse. He's going for more Fiends. What a game, guys. What a game. How we come to the finals? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> random race, random hero. It's all so random. A lot of luck is involved. <laughs> so, Mezzo is gonna creep this over here. Meanwhile, Shakti Lar is level three now as well. Claws of attack is pretty, pretty nice. And what second hero do we get? The Dreadlord. Here we, <laughs> here we, are you serious? <laughs> Nateful, hello, Priestess of the Moon again. When he goes mass fiends, this is exactly what I was talking about. Like if he went ghouls, this this would be a shitty hero. But with the fiends, Priest of the Moon is pretty good. Dreadlord, on the other hand, is good with ghouls. Uh, but he doesn't have any ghouls anymore. They're all dead. He has one fiend now. Uh, there goes another ghoul. This Dreadlord, he went carrying swarm first, by the way, not sleep. Very interesting choice. I think. Uh, do we see another? <laughs> okay, nice carry for him to kill this fiend underground. <laughs> Statue, hello. Can you help your friends? No? Okay, there goes a the skeleton. Uh, I feel like we might see a GG soon. 
It's just so one-sided at this, at this point. 41 supply here for Nate Pole. 33 here for Blade. He buys the orb. Okay, maybe he can, you know, maybe he can still do something with the orb. The orb is very good, especially when you have fiends. There's no orb here, so... If he can just get a few more fiends and then fight just before Nate Paul can uh, buy his orb. Or buys his orb. Maybe you have a chance. Scourge Bone Chimes. Oh. Interesting. This Forceful Trapper is dead. So we see a lot of creeping going on. Anything else? He's, uh, he's gonna be at tier 3 soon. Does he have backpack? Oh, he, he uses the birdie. He does not have backpack. So I have to go back home with the hero or get a third hero by the orb with the third hero. He does go for creature attack. He's at 44 supply. And here we have Blade. He is at 39 supply. I guess who's checking out what he's doing? The birdies are. They're like, hey, uh, Blade, what are you doing? Oh, you're creeping? Oh, how nice. How nice. He has a boost of speed on the Shadow Hunter. What a game. Supplies are kind of even now. And Blade has the orb. So right now, if they fight. I don't want to say he has an advantage because we have four and three heroes here for uh, Nate Paul. I mean Neutron. Well, it's just three and two, oh, almost four and two here for Blade. The birdie does go and expires. Blade, is he going for, uh, I mean Neutron, is he going for an expansion? It does look like it, doesn't it? Let's see. Let's see, guys. Oh my god, he's going for an expansion. Oh my god, Neutron. Playing this like a Night Elf mirror. I mean, to be honest, with this uh, Priest of the Moon, level 2 True Shot Aura, with the Fiends, with the fact that he's gonna buy an orb now, I, I think he has noth nothing to fear, guys. Nothing to fear. So much man on the Shadow Hunter as well. Look at this. Sobe Mask, Rope of the Magi, Potion of Greater Mana, 465 mana with a lot of mana regeneration and statues as well on top of that as he has unlimited healing. And that's a lot of healing. Here we have uh, Shadowhunter more with damage rather than healing. <laughs> Dreadlord has to be careful. <laughs> if he dies, it would be funny though. He's not gonna die. Where is he? Earl Baldur's? No. Tome of Knowledge. Scourge Bone Chimes again. How nice. To get uh, this item that's kind of useless twice. Roar. Why Aura? Better to go Swarm and Sleep. No, no, he doesn't have the Aura. He has, uh, he has Carrion Swarm and Sleep. This is the Carrion, this is the Bone Chimes. Here comes Neutron. Oh, we have expansion for Blade as well. But it's scouted by the birdie. Is he going for the main though? Or is he going for... Uh, yeah, he's going for the main. Are under do we see a TP? Oh, do we have a TP? We do have a TP for Blade. 48 supply. There's a TP. 2-0 on these fiends. 1-0 on the fiends for Blade. Oh, Blade is going for Banshees. It's not that strange. But let me think about it. We do have a Panda 30 for Neutron. So the Banshee's anti-magic shell doesn't really do anything against anything, right? <laughs> Only the Breath of Fire now. I mean, normally you go Banshee's for, uh, against Nova. In the Undead versus Undead. But there's no Nova. Nice. 
as he's going for this haunted gold mine. Can he cancel it? I don't think so, but it will be easy to destroy if it goes up. Okay, he cancelled it last moment. And I'll summon here on the Necropolis. So this expansion is running pretty much. This is the fifth acolyte. There's an abomination with disease cloud. And he's getting another slaughterhouse. 65 supply now for Neutron. And 50 here for Blade. Beautiful on summon. Hello, Chaco. Okay. Korean... <laughs> Koreans are better players than you, sorry. Okay. Everyone is a better player than me. We have two rings of protection on this uh, Dreadlord plus seven armor. Hello, 39%. Shadowhunter trying to get some Acolytes. Nice Karen Swarm. This level two Karen Swarm. Killed one Acolyte. Here comes the backup, guys. Here comes Neutron. Another carrion swarm hit some more acolytes. This acolyte's super low on hit points. Another one goes down. So many uh, acolytes dying. Do we have a TP? We do have a TP on the Dreadlord. So he TPs out, but the Shadow Hunter, can he be killed? The Shadow Hunter got hexed and he does die. Oh my god, the Shadow Hunter is dead. So in the end, it wasn't worth it. Especially considering we have an expansion for Neutron. Of course, Blade doesn't know about the expansion. And he is going for another expansion blade is. So he's gonna drop. It makes me think, right? If you have two heroes with the TP, and you TP one hero to over here, and like a second later, you TP the other hero to maybe over here. What happens? Do you TP to over here? And then TP to over here? Or do you TP to over here? Except for that one hero that is TPing to over here. Does he just not TP with the others? Or I have no idea what happens in that case. So, Nate Paul just creeping some more. I mean, Neutron just creeping some more. Zenadar gets a Talisman of the Wild. Not really an item at this point that uh, will make him come back in this game. He's going for another expansion, though. He's playing this like Zerg. Just the more expansions, the better. The hero TPing doesn't TP with the first TP. Okay, interesting. Here's another destroyer. Here's another expansion here for uh, Neutron. He also plays it like a Zerg. So many expansions on this map. So many bases. So many Zerglins. Look at these Zerglins. The sleeper awakes for Nirzul. So Shadowhunter is back, he's level 4.7. He should give maybe this info potion to the Shadowhunter. Oh well, he's going for the attack. He has a counter attack at his expansion. These acolytes are doomed. Is this Panda? What level is he? He's level 3 now. He has an Orb of Darkness, which he got from the bottom left. And he's turning this peasant into skeletons to fight for him. Now he's gonna TP out after killing the haunted gold mine. Or TP in. There it is. Gold mine has been destroyed. Blade kills the acolyte. Blade, I don't think Blade knows about these expansions. Oh, he's gonna scout now. I'm not sure where these two skeletons are going. He sees the expansion. The birdie sees the banshees. Blade is now at 60 supply. We have 80 here for Neutron. The skeleton is just trying to kill the Acolyte, but the Acolyte is too fast. Hello. You see this movement speed? Ha. 
Try again, skeletons. That collides just too fast. You know, over here, some skeletons going down. This expansion is up. Mining with two acolytes. Maybe he wants to build some more acolytes. So he can build, uh, so he can, uh, you know, hunt some more gold. Uh, here as well, we're missing one acolyte. Or is it this acolyte? Oh, this dead acolyte now. Hello, Furbog. Hello. The Furbog is killing acolytes. He could upgrade these, uh, t oh, he's upgrading these towers. Here we have a uh, fight. One destroyer does go down. Nice carrying swarm here by the level 4 Dreadlord. You can also summon more uh, Talus uh, fur box because there's no destroyers mere any uh, anymore. What is this guy doing? Oh, it's a Banshee. The Banshee goes down. There's no way Blade can fight here, but at least the fur box is killing uh, Acolytes. What's the sheep doing over here? Uh, Panda just falls asleep. Does get healed though. What an exciting game. Abominations have one armor upgrade. And Neutron just going for this expansion again. Neutron doesn't really know about this expansion. The Furbog, did they get the... Oh, he sends another one. The first one got killed by the towers. But this one... This one, guys. This Furbog. Look at him. Look at him go using his claws against his Acolyte. Breath of Fire here. The, the frog is the Shadow Hunter actually. And it <laughs> Why didn't he have an Info Potion? Hello? Shadowhunter died, easy peasy. Nice breath of fire. There's no way the blade can win this fight. He does get a level 5 uh, Dreadlord though. Maybe he can get level 6 and then he can win. Level 6 Dreadlord, known to be super duper powerful. Uh, this Acolyte survived by the way. A 76 supply against 52. Banshee here going down. And some of his uh, Necropolis. Tomb of Relics going down. The sheep is sick. The sheep here. Sick. The birdie in the air. Eclipse repairing the uh, Black Citadel that's being focused. What is Blade gonna do? He's going for the attack. These Eclipse, are they going for an expansion over there? Is it just. Uh, Sacrificing his main. He has this expansion up still, so. This gold mine has hardly any gold left. 400 gold. The main does go down. Here comes uh, Mr. Xanadar. He wants some more XP. He wants level 6 so bad. He does anything to get it. He doesn't care about, you know, his friends. He sacrifices his home just to get level 6. Just for power. Power corrupts you guys. You have to be careful. Destroyers, three destroyers in the air, abominations on the floor. Panda, out of mana. Priestess of the moon. These, these fiends are three, one upgraded with <laughs> level three aura. They do so much damage. 41 to 61. Was that it? We have this game, guys. Blade against Nate Poe. Uh, I mean, Neutron. Blade is going for no barracks. You got Orc. Neutron got undead again three times in a row. Against Blade, he gets undead. He's going for a graveyard, a crypt. He's going for uh, a ziggurat. What else do we have? Altar, an altar of elf darkness. What about Blade? My name for my, wait, my life for Blade. Taste of my Blade. Oh, he's going for a random hero. It could be anyone. It could be. Could it be Spider-Man? It could be Spider-Man. It says anyone, guys. Over here we have ghouls, graveyard fiends, etc. And here's a scout. The Lamborghini scout. Let's see what timing it arrives uh, at the orc base. Because it's so fast right now, it arrives much faster than before. Peon being built here for Blade. Acolyte. Oh, look at this tech. Blade going for the fast tech. Is Pikachu, <laughs> for fuck's sake, is Pikachu a hero? Could it be Pikachu? 
It is almost oh close. If there was any hero that is Pikachu, it is Mojo Dark Ale. The Pikachu Panda. That's his nickname, guys. He's walking through the water next to the plants. So barracks is going up. Burrows going up. Another burrows going up. How funny would it be if Spider-Man comes out of the altar? <laughs> that would be interesting if the map makers made it so uh, there's like a one in a thousand chance or something to get Spider-Man. Player's forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. Hey, Farseer. This doesn't look good for Blade, does it? We have a Farseer with Fiends against a Panda with nothing. Mm, but maybe the Panda can get the last hit. He does get the last hit. I'm not sure why. Uh, why? Uh, what's his name? Neutron just didn't go for the Ogre when the Panda was a little bit farther away. I guess he was just afraid of the Breath of Fire getting the last hit. But now he, he let the Panda get it. Circle of Nobility was picked up by the Farseer though. Nice Breath of Fire. It's a Wolfie Micro back. This Panda with his Breath of Fires does so much damage against Wolfies. Just burning them because their fur is just so burnable. Not a Breath of Fire. But this troll does go down. It does go to ne Neutron. Panda here. Oh, Panda is moving away from the Wolfie. The Fars here picks up Sacrificial Skull and Skeletons. Is he going for an expansion? He might go for an expansion because he knows he's playing playing against a solo Panda. No, or late barracks, fast tech. But what if we see Fiends? I mean Wyvern. What if we see Wyvern? Is he going to get the uh, Trolls and Towers to deal with Wyvern? Because obviously Web is a tier 2 upgrade, guys. The Panda and the Grunt here doing a lot of damage against the little Fiend. We do see a bestiary and a, a random hero and a grunt. Look at the fiend just distracting the panda. But well, the grunt is going for the harassment. Level 2 farce here. Grunt takes too much damage. He sees the expansion. He sees everything he needs to know. This trapper going down. And neutrons really fire on fire at the moment. He came back like three weeks ago. Yeah, something like that. More than three weeks for sure. I don't remember exactly how long ago. Uh, what hero did we get? Nothing yet. Keeper! Guys, it's Keeper. Keeper very good against Fiends. Suddenly this game shifts back into place favor. The farce here is just killing some Murlocs, killing some Trolls. It's creeping two creep camps at the same time, this one and this one. This troll is going down. Ooh, what's this? Skeleton scouts the panda. Healing solves do get cancelled. The panda is still only at 48 XP. Only that first kill. You guys remember that the ogre? That's the only XP the panda has. Breath of fire here on the acolytes. God. Level 3 farce here. Uh oh. Level 2 wolves are just too strong. Even the keeper of the growth cannot deal with that. Hello. Especially if he gets surrounded. But he doesn't get surrounded. Uh, this acolyte is going to die. And the grunt's also taking so much damage. This grunt is dead. Look at the wolf. He's critical striking for 34. He doesn't even cancel this uh, gold mine because he's just going to kill the panda. And then the grunt. And then uh, do we see a GG maybe for Blade? <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, he might. Uh, he doesn't even kill the haunted gold mine. There's an acolyte here now repairing. This grunt. This raider is taking a lot of damage. Blade, does he still have a chance to win this game? Is he really, you know, going to show us how to win the game from this position? He's going for Mass Raiders. What a game, guys. What a game. A player's forces are under attack. Of course, it's going to creep a little bit more. <laughs> MP. MP. <laughs> MP. <laughs> no, play doesn't GG out, apparently. He doesn't do an MP. Although, at this point, I, don't, I wouldn't call it an MP. At this point, he's just dead. Right, Blade? I mean, is he dead? He's so far behind. But 
he, he can still try. Yes, uh, Mass Raiders. His opponent is still tier 1, so that's the advantage he has. The advantage for Blade. Let's see, is the Keeper going to do some damage here in the main? He has one Raider here. He has a Keeper. The town is under siege. The town is under siege. The Necropolis is going up. He only has four Acolytes over here because the fifth Acolyte had to hide over here. He doesn't have a Necropolis over here, so he was building them from this Necropolis. Another Fiend will be out soon. The supplies are even, but remember we have double the income now for um, Neutron. The Panda takes a lot of damage. He has a TP, he has a Speed Scroll as well. There's a chain lining. Oh, the panda does go down pretty fast. The wolf is chain lining, etc. Kills him too fast. This raider. Oh, they could have killed him, but they killed the other one. This fiend survives. This altar survives. Seven hit points on the altar. Like 16 on the fiend or something, or even less. There's a chain lining. Another raider does go down. Okay. And we see some more creeping. Level four and a half. Do we get level five farce here? Yes, for sure. Unless Blade GG's out beforehand, but this level 5 Farce here will win the game by himself. Hello, 39 supply against 40. We see more Raiders. Does he have Pillage? Um, he does have Pillage, guys. Oh, that's the way to win the game, of course. Pillage. Such a powerful upgrade. Farce here just needs a few more kills. Or one more kill. One more kill. This Grunt is enough to win the game. There it is. Can we see the Shadow Wolves? Oh my god, the Shadow Wolves of Mordor. Here they are. They're gonna kill everything. Peons. Wait, no, what are they? Yeah, Peons, Raiders, Burvos, Keeper of the Groves, Pandas. There's no Spirit Lord, uh, no Torrent Totem here, so no Dispel. There's no Black Citadel here. I mean, it's Fortress. So no orb. These wolves. So strong. Nice dangle on the fiend, but it's just level one. So the fiend will survive. Unless you know he gets ensnared and killed. But there's Burrow. He's a tier two now. Does he have unit formation on? No. Hello, Raider. Uh, the wolfies killed like three peons and then they expired or maybe four even there's some more wolfies they sense them back in to kill more peons there's another altar going up because this altar he doesn't want to repair it he just oh yes the oh he has another altar over how many altars do you need i guess he builds the altars just for defense because it's one of the cheaper 900 hit point buildings so a nice breath of fire here. One uh, ziggurat went down. The ziggurat is taking so much damage. There's so many raiders, but they're both the demon under mana burning the keeper. That must hurt. There's more wolfies. I bet they killed some more peons over here. Actually, what? Where are the peons? Are they in burrows? Are oh, they in burrows? Okay, uh, keeper just dying just while I was checking uh, the base there. This gold mine very low on hit points. Can he kill it? Even if he can, he does. He does have a TP on the panda. He will lose a lot of raiders though. Even with the breath of fire, it's still up. Wolfies, go kill some raiders. Go go in there. GG. Easy peasy. Neutron wins. 3 to 0. He wins $70. Blade wins $30. Happy wins nothing. Foggy wins nothing. Uh, Cash wins nothing. Because they all died way earlier, a long time ago. GG.